How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to brief you guys about what a VPN is very quickly. And I will give you guys a couple of recommendations uh, if you're trying to get yourself a VPN subscription. And these are some of the best VPNs. Now, before I talk about them, if you're interested in any of them, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you are interested in getting to know the advantages and disadvantages of each of them. Now, very simply, if you're interested or if you're new actually to VPNs, rather, a VPN or virtual private network allows you to create a secure connection to another network over the internet. VPNs can be used to access region restricted websites, shield your browsing activity from prying eyes on public Wi Fi, and more. These days, VPNs are very popular, really, but not for the reasons they were originally created. They were originally just a way for businesses to uh, connect together over to connect together securely over the internet, or just have uh, one member of that business, let's say, to access uh, such business network from home. Uh, VPNs essentially forward all your network traffic to the internet, which is uh, which is where the benefits like accessing local network resources remotely and bypassing internet censorship all come from. Most operating systems have integrated VPN support. So, you know, in very simple terms, a VPN connects your PC, smartphone, or tablet to another computer called a server somewhere over the internet. And it allows you to browse the internet using that computer's internet connection. So if that server is in a different country, it will appear as if you are coming from that country. And so you can potentially access things that you couldn't normally. So how does this help you? Well, you could bypass geographic restrictions on websites or streaming and, you know, audio and video and whatnot. You can stream media like Netflix and Hulu. Uh, Hulu and HBO Max, for example, are only available in the United States, uh, but you can access them using a VPN. Uh, you can protect yourself from snooping on untrustworthy Wi-Fi hotspots. You can gain at you can gain some kind of anonymity by hiding your true location, and you can protect yourself from being logged while torrenting if you're torrenting. So this is you know VPNs can be very useful, and uh, they've been gaining a lot of popularity lately for you know the right reasons. So a lot of for for example, for me, I like to watch. Uh, Netflix. And I don't want my subscription to go to waste. So I would use a VPN in order to kind of, you know, just really make the best out of uh, the VPN. And uh, generally, a VPN should never be used to bypass copyright regulations. I don't promote, condone or endorse the use of the service for such purposes. But, you know, a lot of times, you're trying to get the best out of your uh, Netflix subscription, or let's say you're trying to watch, I don't know, Game of Thrones, for example, and it's only available on HBO, which is only available in the United States. This is when you can use a VPN. Now, just briefly speaking, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, I'll link the reviews down below. It'll kind of brief you about all about these VPNs and all the features. But just simply, in simple terms, and uh, without complicating anything, these are very good, very easy to use, and very secure, and very quick. Now, ExpressVPN will allow you to secure five devices. That'll be six devices with Nord and an unlimited amount of devices with Surfshark. ExpressVPN is a little bit on the pricey side, but of course, what comes with that is very high consistency and uh, when it comes to unblocking geo restrictions and streaming services, it's super consistent and very secure. Generally, it's considered one of the best VPNs in the industry. NordVPN is a little bit cheaper and it comes with a host of uh, features such as specialty servers, uh, an app kill switch, not just a reg regular kill switch. A kill switch will disable the internet access when you're not connected to the VPN so that it protects you from uh, any leakage or, or DNS leaking. An app kill switch will just kill the app instead of the entire connection. Split tunneling will let you choose which, which applications use the VPN connection and which don't. And, you know, you've got custom DNS, obfuscated servers if you're living in a censorship-heavy country and such. And then you've got Surfshark, which is the cheapest VPN, which will get things done at the cheapest possible cost. It also has, um, you know, a whole bunch of servers, You've got over 3,200 servers in 65 countries with Surfshark. 
5,300 servers in 65 in 59 countries with NordVPN and over 3,000 servers in 94 countries in ExpressVPN, which is a lot of countries. It covers a lot of regions, which is also one of the re one of the reasons why it is able to unblock the uh, largest amount of uh, region locked content. Now, uh, so for the features, you also have whitelister, which is um, split tunneling. You have a bunch of uh, protocols, WireGuard, you have the WireGuard protocol and a bunch of protocols. But, you know, just I don't want to complicate things. If you're new to VPNs, I don't, want, I don't really want to complicate things too much for you. All you need to know really is that if you're looking for the highest consistency rates with, uh, you know, unblocking geo-restrictions and streaming services, uh, just the best service overall, and you don't care about budget, ExpressVPN is definitely the best you can get. If you're looking for a VPN that may not be as consistent and may unblock less regions, for reference, ExpressVPN can unblock up to 18 Netflix libraries, 10 Netflix libraries with NordVPN, and 15 with Surfshark. Uh, so, yeah, if you're looking for a service that has a bunch of features and you think all these fe features are pretty useful for you when it, with NordVPN here, then uh, you could go for NordVPN. And if you're looking to just pay the lowest possible price and just get the job done, unblock Netflix and whatnot, then Surfshark will be the one. Now, you know, that's really about it. If you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below. Besides that, you'll also find the reviews. So I would really recommend checking out the reviews. I'll kind of brief you. Um, about the privacy policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And you'll know exactly what you're getting yourself into before getting yourself a subscription. Besides that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.